I still don't feel like putting on makeup, but okay, so at the last home, I, on the first night of this one woman shift, um, I told her that I was meeting a guy from online there. Again, like I felt safe. It's really hard for me to get up the energy to go out. And she didn't say anything. And then he came over and he was not my type. And he was like all of five foot nothing, maybe 90 pounds. But there are, but then she, um, says, then she kicks him out and says that I shouldn't be meeting guys there and um, calls the boss and the boss is like, we have to worry about, you know, the other residents' safety too. And here's the thing is, I told her he was coming before he came. Like, so really, she could have been like, you know what, I'm not comfortable with that. And I would have been like, oh, okay. And he, he wouldn't have come over. Instead, he came over and she made like a huge deal of it and I felt like I couldn't date or have friends and they're like well just don't meet them there okay I get like not to meet guys at your home because in the past I wouldn't have but living in these places and having absolutely no energy I'm like these guys like I should be safe enough here that if you know they're weird something can, I can I can push my button but the last home didn't have call buttons uh, this one does I haven't met anyone here though um, again because my heart is ice cold but I'm still you know in the market for friends which is what I was in the market for before anyway but anyway so I was just watching more about crappy bosses and yeah, that's that's another one. Another instance, even though, again, she wasn't my boss, and I didn't work there, but I was treated like staff, and I, I acted like staff, except for the fact that I wasn't getting paid, and I was allowed to say stuff staff wasn't. I was allowed to yell at Miss Whipped Cream Gate when they weren't. And the director even was like, yeah, it's okay, keep doing that, because the staff's not allowed. They're very, you know, speaking out of both sides of their mouth. Um, and there's, there's, oh, shoot, there were more crappy bosses. I've had so, so many, I've had over 30 jobs. But I've had some really awesome bosses too. Yeah, so I could use a name here on this one. Shout out to Overstock.com. I think I had some of my coolest bosses there, mainly because they were completely professional at all times, and but they were still chill. I could talk to them like real human beings. I could tell they actually cared what was going on in my life. They called me after my car accident, asked if I was, you know, doing okay. Um, I took a week off for, you know, I mean, obviously I took it out of my paid vacation, but they didn't give me a hard time about it. I got back and they bought me lunch. They cared about my health but they didn't pry into my personal life. Um, I was always reprimanded gently. One time we weren't supposed to, we had been allowed to be coming in as early as seven and then that was changed so that we couldn't come in before nine. And I sent my boss a message. He was like, okay, well, they just changed the rule that you're not supposed to come in before nine and I got this message at seven and I was like, I didn't clock in until 9.30, so I think your clock is off. And so then he checked my clock and he was like, huh, yeah, looks like my, my clock is set in a different time zone. So yeah, so they could admit their mistakes and it was funny. And after I stopped walking, he thought it would be fun to will me into the office for, you know, the weekly one-on-one -on -one meeting. 
And it, at first, you know, he asked if he could wheel me in. And I was like, I can walk. And he looked sad. And I was like, oh, did you want to wheel me in? You know, because the chairs all had, you know, rolly chairs. And he was like, kind of. And I was like, okay, but I have to yell we. So, so shout out to Overstock. I've had a lot of good bosses. But I think those were my best bosses. And I've had a lot of bad bosses. Won't use names, but there's there's been a lot. And I'll come back with more.